Hey everyone, it's Stacy Goldberg. Today I am making a video to tell everyone about different types of supplements and proteins. I've actually had a lot of questions from uh, followers and from clients about protein, when they should take it, what kind they should take, if it's going to make them bulk up, um, if supplements are going to make them get bigger, and it's a really big concern and a lot of stuff that people don't really know about that haven't done the research. Um, first of all, what I'm going to start with is whey protein. Whey protein is great for rebuilding muscle. Now, my favorite kind of whey protein is this. It's called Amplify. It's actually kind of a new one from GNC. And if you look at the nutrition facts, always look at the nutrition facts, you will notice that it says three scoops is one serving. <laughs> Do not take three scoops. Only take one scoop. And I'll tell you why. Uh, in three scoops, it has 60 grams of protein. In one scoop, you'll consume 20 grams of protein, which is perfect. Um, sugars in three scoops, it only has two grams of sugar. So in one scoop, you'll consume not even one gram of sugar. You'll consume like half a gram of sugar. Calories, you won't even consume 100 calories in this protein. It is amazing. Um, only take one scoop. Don't take three. You'll get 20 grams of protein. You will get under 100 calories, under a gram of sugar. And what whey basically does is whey protein helps rebuild your muscle. If you work out and you lift weights and you want to build muscle, you need to be consuming at least one gram of protein per pound of weight. And 30 minutes, within 30 minutes, I should say, of a workout, of a late, li, uh, of lifting weights, or doing any kind of a weightlifting workout, you want to consume a protein shake, a whey protein shake within 30 minutes. Uh, they also make ready to drink shakes. I ran out of them. Uh, I have one posted on my page, a picture of one. Uh, make sure if you buy the shakes that are ready to drink, uh, or RTD, that they are low in calorie low in sugar content and that they have a high protein. The one that I buy is by GNC. Um, it has about 120, 130 calories, 25 grams of protein, and it has like two grams of sugar, so it's not that bad. So whey protein, just know uh, you consume this within 30 minutes after your workout. You have to do that because it helps your muscles rebuild. Uh, Basically, if you don't take protein after your muscles, your muscles aren't going to have fuel to rebuild themselves, and you're kind of wasting your workout. Now, another protein, cassian protein. Cassian protein is a, first of all, let me go back to whey really quickly. Whey is a fast digesting protein, which is why you need to take it right after a workout, um, because your body can digest it very quickly. Cassian protein is a slow digesting protein. This protein is mainly meant to take basically before bed. Uh, when you're not going to be eating for a long period of time, your body's at rest. You're probably going to be sleeping for about eight hours. And cassian protein digests very slowly in your body. And basically, it will help your muscles rebuild in their sleep. And the one that I have has 120 calories, one gram of fat. Uh, four carbs, one gram of sugar, and 24 grams of protein. So, not too bad. Now, when I cook, <laughs> I cook with protein, my protein bars. I found by trial and error, the protein that works best for me, Gold Standard Whey. I cook with Gold Standard Whey vanilla flavored because for some reason, I've tried chocolate um, to bake with. I've tried other flavors, and vanilla just works out the best. Unless I'm making my uh, protein ice cream uh, or protein peanut butter cups, I go with vanilla. So, that's my favorite. And I know on my page you've heard a lot of me hear tell you about Alive Shakes. Uh, basically, what an Alive Shake is... This is an Alive Shake. I have chocolate flavored, vanilla flavored, and apple flavored. I'm like the protein queen. Um... 
it doesn't have that many calories. It has 120 calories. It's not too high in protein. It's got about 15 grams, uh, which, which is okay. Uh, but it does have all the vitamins and nutrients that you need for the day. Like your vitamin A, your vitamin B. It has vitamin C. It has everything you could possibly think of. K-E-D-C-A. Uh, it has folic acid in it. It has iron. It's basically like a multivitamin shake. And it also fills you up very well. Like it, it, It'll make you extremely full. Uh, this Alive product I bought at Whole Foods. I've heard from clients that you can buy it at Walmart. I've never tried the liquid form. Uh, I've never tried the pill form, but I've only tried the powder form. And I'll use that as one of my six, five to six meals a day that I eat, depending on if I'm training or not, uh, for a competition. I will use this as one of my meals if I'm on the go. And basically what I do with this, to make it taste better, <laughs> I get a scoop of the chocolate alive. I get chocolate unsweetened soy milk. And I put it in a blender with some crushed ice and maybe I'll put a few pieces of fruit in there depending on if I'm uh, training for a competition or not uh, for those extra, that extra flavor. And I'll blend it in a blender, pour it in a cup, and I'm good to go. And that'll be one of my snack meals like in between lunch and dinner. And it really does fill you up. It really does give you all those vitamins and nutrients that you need. Uh, last question that I'm going to answer really quickly. Women, a lot of you women are asking me, am I going to bulk up if I take protein? If I take whey, am I going to get big and bulky? And the answer to that is no. Whey is going to rebuild your muscle. That is all it is going to do. Well, it does other things, but that's one of the things that it's going to do. A woman's body chemistry is not naturally designed like a man. So you are not going to get like, the big Arnold Schwarzenegger or the Hulk type of body. Um, unless the women that you do see like that are usually taking a supplement like an anabolical steroid. Women's testosterone level is not... The highest a woman's testosterone level can go is the lowest that a man's is. So we don't have enough testosterone in us in order to get that big. Um, when you see women in fitness competitions that are really cut and really muscular, it's because they have been doing something called cutting, which happens three months prior to a competition, where basically you cut back on your carbs, uh, you eat high protein, no carbs, and you just basically shred off all that fat so your muscle, muscle shows through. Uh, they don't look like that all year round. I guarantee you that. They're usually about 10 pounds heavier Eight, 8 to 10 pounds heavier year round. Um, they're only in that shape for the competition. It's called competition prep. Uh, so when you see the, the, the figure competitors, those, those women um, are not like that year round. They're like that before the show, before a photo shoot, etc. Um, so if you're worried about bulking up, don't be. Protein will not make you bulk up. If anything, it will do the opposite. It will help you rebuild your muscle and as you know muscle does weigh more than fat so if you're lifting and you're taking protein um, and you're lifting heavier weights and you notice your weights going up a little don't worry about it just go by how you feel because muscle weighs more than fat but it takes up less room than fat does if you have any other questions at all please feel free to let me know uh, email me sgoldberg145 at yahoo.com or um, you can find me on Facebook under www.facebook.com backslash clean recipes I forgot the R that's just me so it's clean recipes by Stacy and that's S-T-A-C-E-Y and that would be my page where I post a lot of advice, lots of videos uh, or you could just follow me on YouTube. But if you have any other questions feel free to let me know. I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible and get back to you. Thanks. I hope you guys are having a great day.